So back in 2022, uh, Bill and I were in the office at home and I was working on one of my radio shows and uh, Bill turned around and said to me, hey, do you feel like doing the Overland track? Now at the time, I was rather engrossed in my music selection. So I said, yeah, sure, no dramas. He goes, all right, well, should I, should I book it? Yep, no dramas, book away. Now, I didn't really think much about what I had actually agreed to. And uh, as the months progressed, uh, Bill got really excited because this was a real bucket list item for him. And then we thought, well, hey, let's, let's invite my brother Brett, um, see if he wants to do it as well, which he said yes to. Uh, I think Brett was a bit like me, uh, didn't really think it was going to happen. So it gets closer towards the, the later half of 2022, and then all of a sudden these camping items start to arrive at our place from the various camping businesses uh, around Australia, including some overseas online platforms as well. And every time something arrived, Bill was super ex excited and he would put his all into explaining to me exactly what all these items would do and how they would help us on the overland track. It's really towards the end of December in 2022, when I actually thought to myself, Oh crap, I'm about to go on to a multi-day hike where there's no showers and there's no flushing toilets. I can't get out of this. Come February 2023, this year, and we were making our way across the Bass Strait to Tasmania. None of us had done any prep work at all for this multi-day hike. Well, <laughs> we survived, and this is our story. And here we are, Monday the 30th of January. We've just departed on the Overland track at 11 a.m. We've probably walked about 10 meters so far and we're feeling pumped. So you may remember about uh, 10 years ago that uh, Bill and I did uh, Marion's Lookout and it was at this point, halfway into the actual walk itself, that we felt that we had completed it. Of course, uh, Bill was about five, six minutes behind me, got up, uh, and as I was admiring of you, he then uh, pointed out to me that, Stephen, you have it absolutely wrong. We still go all the way up there. We're about to hit the summit now, and. Bill's already there and uh, we'll show you the views. Do you see where we've got to go? Up there. Oh. I thought we were at the top. Nope. Whoops. Uh, hence why checking your facts is always very important when you do such walk. Turns out I got a little bit too excited and it actually wasn't the summit of the rock as Bill has just 
kindly pointed out to me. No, as you can see right up there in the background, we still have to go all the way up that track to the delightful Marion's Lookout. Have I told you how much I love Marion so far? So Bill and Brett have gone in front of me. I've been lagging behind a little bit, you know, just documenting as I do. Uh, so obviously uh, not looking forward to the last part of uh, Marion's Lookout, uh, but I know that uh, Brett's uh, looking forward to offloading some of his water for the uh, tea and coffee and lunch that awaits us, which hopefully will take about one, 200 grams off our backpacks. And then you may see in the distance there that uh, people from Marion's Lookout are starting to actually head on the overland track itself. So I will see you at the top of Marion's Lookout. Well, we're at the last part of Marion's Lookout and uh, I remember this uh, section very well. The chains. Fills me with hope. Well, we must be getting to the last bit now because here are the, uh, the famous chains that would make Scrooge jealous himself. And uh, there's Bill halfway up the chain. So he's doing quite well actually. He's sort of just powering along there like a little super power man. And I'm uh, still at the bottom, still rattling my chains. So uh, here I go. Gonna get us all the way up there, but uh, this time around, Bill has 28 kilos on his back. I have uh, 23 kilos on my back. Uh, Brett has uh, 25 kilos on his back, so it's gonna make it a, a lot more challenging and uh, difficult this time because we have so much weight on our backs. So, uh, wish us luck. Uh, we're about to head up these chains. Well, here we are at the top of Marion's Lookout. It's probably taken us, well, I'd say about three o'clock. Um, we left at 11 a.m., as you know, and uh, we reached the summit here at uh, 3 p.m. Not going to lie, it has been a rather strenuous walk. I've uh, even managed to acquire the first injury of the walk, but it actually wasn't that serious. It's just uh, me holding the chains probably the uh, wrong way. So we're just having a quick break, and then uh, we're continuing on. Uh, hopefully we'll get to our hut uh, in a few hours and I guess we'll decide whether or not we're going to uh, set up the tent or uh, whether or not uh, we're just too tired to bug it and we'll actually just sleep in the hut itself. But I've got to say, uh, Marion's lookout uh, certainly is not disappointing again. So uh, Bill's put on his backpack, uh, he's going to start off now uh, while uh, Brett and I get ourselves organised and then uh, we'll be off, oh, I'd say in about another five minutes, I've had me crackers. <laughs> I haven't had my lunch. I've been drinking, uh, sipping my water along the way, uh, but uh, we'll see how we go.
so we've reached uh, Kitchen Hut having a break uh, very very sore I'll be brutally honest with you uh, the pathway continues ahead of us it appears to be going directly up a mountain and if you think I'm lying I flip it around that mountain and uh, there's like this really odd dirt track and it appears to be people going up and down it and I'm rather frightened at this stage because I don't think I'm going to be able to cope going all the way up there. What about you Brett, do you think you could cope going up there? <laughs> I don't know at this point. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like a bloody steep climb and just coming into Kitchen Hut now is Will I am? <laughs> oh. How you going, sexy? Oh. That was a journey. <laughs> Here we are at Kitchen Hut. Okay. Oh, I think we break down somewhere. Yeah. Oh. 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 <laughs> Everything's so.
handmade salami here. Are you a chef in real life? I used to be. Uh, so there you go. That's all coming Is there just too many clues? <laughs> Which is probably why I'm involved in such a heavy pack. Yeah. Well, Alright, so we're going to have a look at the tent. Well, we got up at about 6.20 this morning um, to rain, so we had to pack the tent up in drizzle. I uh, had a few wet clothes got down we had breakfast and then we left about it was about nine o'clock I believe 9 30 9 30 we left so today is our biggest walk of the journey yep 16.7 uh, kilometers 16.7 kilometers I think we may have done about maybe eight oh, hopefully that's... ten but we're not sure oh I wish it was ten kilometers anyway they say <coughs> this part of it is probably the most mentally taxing. Definitely. Uh, I've got to say that it's been pretty awful so far. Um, oh. Well, I think it's been awful. Have you think it's been lovely? Well, the the walk's been pleasant. It's just the backpacks are heavy. Oh, it? the backpacks are awful. So most well up until this point, it's practically been raining and drizzling and windy. Um, it's just eased off a bit now. So you haven't enjoyed it? Uh, no, I haven't enjoyed it. Oh. No, I'll be honest with you. Not this first half. But now that I've had a bit of a break, hopefully it'll be okay. Sorry, I've got sun cream in my eyes for all the rain. It sort of dribbled down. Anyway, um, hopefully we'll be able to do some more video recording as we go on. And, um, we'll uh, see how we go. <laughs> oh, that can't be great. It's over the next half of the hour. <laughs> Because <laughs> you're just like, oh. <laughs> He's like, turn it over, turn it over. How do you know you want to be getting out of that? How long ago did you realize when you're scared? When you're choking. Choke turtle, turtle choked. is a dehydrated beef and pasta and lots of veggies that we dehydrated. Yum, yum, yum. This is tonight's dinner. Yay.
Well, we are just over two hours into day four of our trek. Uh, we left the hut this morning at about uh, 8.40 a.m. Uh, we're now heading to Kiora Hut. And at the moment, we're in the rainforest. Sounds very nice, doesn't it? But uh, basically, the entire two and a half hours or where it is has been all uphill and uh, climbing all the way. Now, you would think that getting to the top of the hill would be an absolute luxury. Apparently not. So when you get to the peak, essentially the majority of the walk to the hut is all in open field because we are on the top of a mountain line. And uh, we've been warned that before we leave the rainforest, to make sure we have all our warm gear on, as well as all our wet weather gear, because it's going to be damn cold, damn windy, and damn rainy. There was talk of snow, but I'm hoping that's not going to happen when uh, we have to cross. So we're all pretty buggered at the moment, as you can well imagine. Uh, had a good sleep last night though, but uh, gonna stop recording now because uh, I feel like we're getting towards the top and it's starting to rain.
Stephen's having his morning snack after walking an hour in the rainforest. How are you feeling? My shoulders are killing me, but the rainforest was actually beautiful. But I had to take off my jump because it's getting really hot. Mm. And you're enjoying day five? One more day to go. <laughs> <laughs> and how are you going on day five, Breddy? Yeah, good. Yeah, you enjoying your rainforest walk? I am, yep. Yeah. Loving it. And having your snacks? Yep. Mum's cooked me, I mean, packed me a snack pack every day. <laughs> so it's like a surprise. Uh, that's good. Mm. And uh, just a little bit of a tweak in the... Yeah, slightly um, just strained my uh, ankle yesterday. So that's strapped. okay. It's strapped today, it's that's okay. Well. I've got my knees strapped today. Mm. So we're doing well. That's it. Yeah, one more day to go after after this hut. Oh, why don't we do two more? <laughs> <laughs> and I don't know whether you heard that from the background. There was a big shout out for no. 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 Yeah, there we go. It has been a great experience, but we've certainly had all sorts of weather. Rain, hail, and shine. Yeah. Rain, hail, and shine. Literally. Yep, it's been great. Well, we're right three hours into uh, day five of the walk. We've left uh, Kiora Hut. Um, had a few stops along the way. Uh, see Daisy? Uh, just have to excuse me. I'm going to look ahead while I talk to you. Uh, yeah, look, so it was around about one o'clock. Uh, well, one and two, I should say. We we're expecting rain. Had pretty good weather so far. Um, it's probably around about half past one at the moment. Had a few spots of rain, but uh, actually we've been pretty lucky so far. Uh, we're all feeling it. Uh, we're sort of, between the three of us, saying that uh, it sort of feels like a mixture of day two and three uh, combined. Um, so, we're, yeah, pretty sore, but hopefully you're getting either closer to the ferry. Oh, there's a bit of a steep decline here, so you will excuse me if I just uh, cut this off now.
cooking, cooking. The last of the gourmet. Last of the gourmet dinner. A nice spaghetti bowl. Straight from Manara. Yep. Have to do it in two batches because there's so much of it. We could feed people. Which is why it took me so long to get up that hill today. <laughs> Where are we? There's a batch that's not even cooked yet. There you go. Look at that glistening in the sun. And here we are. In, I don't know, what do you call this, a mess hall? Um, meeting room. A meeting room. This is the gathering room. There's Breddy with his new friends. Been a wonderful trip. Has been a lovely trip. Yeah, really, really worth it. Hard, challenging at times. Those Bloody hard. Hills have been incredible. Yes, today was a bit of a challenge, yeah, it wasn't it? It was. Um, but yeah, I thoroughly enjoyed it. Thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed it. Just taking a little break. Five minute break. Last uh, trek to the last hut. Packs are definitely feeling uh, lighter this morning. A little bit, little bit lighter. Although we're still debating whether or not it's because of the, we've maybe adjusted the straps. We're having a bit of a powwow with some other people last night and they suggested maybe our straps at the top were a bit tight and we've loosened them. And they're actually feeling a bit more comfortable today. I think it's a combination of both. Yeah, that yeah. And, the, and the lighter pack definitely. Yeah. So, yeah. Quick you, five dinner. I was going to say, how do you feel about uh, day six? Can't believe it's day six already. <laughs> but must admit, I am looking forward to the ferry. And a hot shower? Oh, yeah, and then a hot shower afterwards with my five nozzles. Yeah, it's been a great experience, but it's uh, it's challenged us, it's pushed us, but I'd, it's been awesome. <laughs>